All right, so now we are at the 20 after the hold. Um, <clears throat> so you're in your left cradle and you're down. You're just gonna open up for four counts with the big left cradle up and over, um, moving whatever direction. Most of this, their feet are just moving. Whatever direction they need to go, just work flat to the front. If you're opening for four counts, you're gonna bring it down across your toes and all the way up. And I'm grabbing with my right hand, right under my hand, thumb up. You're gonna swing it down to where you're grabbing two hands so that you can bottom cone to the right. So you're going up for four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're gonna, well, nine, you're gonna release it on ten. You're gonna flip up, catch eleven up at the right angle. So I'm at my bottom tape. My right hand's at my tab on 11, and that is like the one moment it just needs to suspend for a second. Um, I'm putting out my left leg, so no matter which direction they're coming from, they just need to pop out that left leg for that second. It's gonna hold count 12, and then go down on count 13. So it just needs a little pause suspension. One, three, five, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, hold 12. And you're going to like row your boat behind you down through to flat and you're gonna pop it up over your left side hip for like a little hip roll and that's not a huge row your boat it's much more of a small you know it's hard to see with the camera but it's much more of a small side hip just to get around that silk um, to be able to change directions there a little bit um, so 20 counts one, two, three, four, come up, five, six, seven, eight, nine, up, 10, 11, hold, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You're gonna finish it out to this uh, slam position, left hand at the tab, right, or left hand at the tape, right hand at the tab. Technically by count two-ish of the next phrase, the music doesn't really stop, it goes through. Um, there's really no break point there. So you want to just kind of flow that all the way through to that next phrase. Open, grab bottom cone, pop it up, little row your boat, little swoopy hip, back to the bottom. From here, you're going to do a little like twisty flourish around your head. <laughs> so you're going to take it up with your right hand basically dropping it down and coming back up. You're going to use your left hand to help that motion. So when you drop it down, you're gonna grab it with the back side of your hand. So for a split second, your hands are very close together, both thumbs down in this very funky grip moment. That left hand is just going to help support it as it goes around your head because you got to keep this in your toaster and it's very awkward with one hand to be able to keep it front to back in your toaster so once it comes down and you put your left hand on it it's coming up and it's going to drop down behind you and back up to the front so down up continue that flourish behind your head and back up down up up show you from the back so from here you grab your left hand and it's going this direction it should stay in your toaster it's kind of awkward around your head you let the tip drop behind you still in your toaster down towards your toes and back up to the front it is a fast move it should flow around so down up down up down up down up again that left hand is just to help guide it around your head so you don't smack your head with your flag a whole bunch <laughs> let me check my time Sweet. okay so once you've come around it you should be back to the front my arm is just out after i leave the pole just putting it out to get away from all of the 
silk in the flag. So once I'm to the front, I'm going to keep the motion going down and I'm also starting to move it to the left hand side of my body. So I'm going to move it across my body and down. You're going to do a little thumb flip. So remember a thumb flip would be flips where it stays attached to your thumb and you re-grab, attach to your thumb and re-grab. They're very fast, just a little thumb flip. It's not a palm roll where your whole palm is holding it, only your thumb should be attached when you do the actual thumb flip. The rest of your hand comes off. So you're just doing one, so you've done this part. You're going to do one down so that you're grabbing pull up and you'll notice I've moved my right foot when that happened across my body because you are going to turn with this one just towards the end. Um, so right there I've stepped across so that I can start my turn around this side. So when you come up and around, you're going to thumb flip it and then you're going to pop it. So I'm leading with the pole end is going to make it there first. So I've thumb flipped and I'm gonna pop that up kind of through flat. I'm gonna let the pole come down towards my feet, across my feet, and I'm gonna keep it going again up into one of those back grabs. You're gonna flatten it out with your right hand and turn yourself to your vignette. So this is one of those phrases is taking them into the groups. So from there, I think it's a count five of the second 10, around there five through 10, will be based on where they're going, so which vignette they're going to in the groups, and then how that vignette will start. Um, we'll change the end of that 10 that, that we just did. So once they have flipped here and they go around, once they're up here, it could change depending on if they need to go this way. Some people may need to come up. Others are probably going to go to the ground because we need some levels. Um, so from there, some people may be going to the ground. Some people may be spinning. Um, it just kind of depends on where they're going. So those two tens, you started over here because you ended the 20 and the 20 goes right into the tens. So count two of that first 10 is still that prep. You're going to do this funky, twisty grab, spinny thing uh, around count three, four, five, six, seven, and you're going to pop it up and over and then down towards your feet. This big up moment that everybody will do is count three of the second ten. Then we've got seven, eight, or four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to get them to their vignettes. So. Of those, you've got one, two, three, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, up three, five, seven, nine, ten. I will give you, um, I'm going to stop this, I will give you the actual count moments, I just have to remember the music in my head.